So, good morning and welcome back to Daily Transfer Update. Today, we're going to speak about a few players um, linked with moves to Arsenal. Um, before I do that, smash a like up on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Also, check out the gaming channel, a link in the description. And also, if you are on YouTube Premium and you live in Brazil, South Korea, Japan, Ireland or the UK, you can sign up to a channel membership to this channel for free for one month on a trial basis. YouTube have dropped that recently. Um, so yeah, go and get involved. Become a member um, for free if you're from them countries on YouTube Premium. Um, if you also want to just become a member, hit the link there. I always get that wrong. It's there. Press join. Press join. Um, so go and check that out as well. Uh, do go and check out my videos from last night. Um, check them out as well if you would. That would be fantastic if you could do that. Um, don't forget, I'll be back at half 10 this morning um, with the Premier League transfer update. And then I'll be streaming FIFA again at about half 12, 1 o'clock on the gaming channel. So make sure you go and subscribe to that right now. Um, but listen, we're going to start off with a left back um, who goes by the name of Sergio Reguilón. <laughs> I've got that so wrong. It's unbelievable. Um, I should know my Spaniel now, living in Spain for six months. Um, but he is a 23-year-old um, left-back who's on loan at Sevilla. See, I pronounced Sevilla, right? He's played 22 La Liga games this um, season for, La, um, for Sevilla. 25 games in total. Now, he has played a couple of them games at left midfield. Now, the reports that are going around at the moment suggest that if uh, Bukayo Saka does leave, which at the moment is looking kind of worrying for us because he isn't signing a new contract. Apparently, there's a five-year deal on the table for him on about 35 grand a week, and he isn't signing that at the moment. Now, he's been linked with a whole host of clubs, as we know. I've done multiple videos on Bukayo Saka, but apparently this is the guy that is being lined up um, as a replacement if Saka does decide to leave. Now, I don't know a massive amount about the guy. What I do know is that um, he, he's obviously a Real Madrid player um, that they rate pretty highly. The fact that they wanted to loan him out, he's, um, he's come through their academy, come through their under-19s and all the way through into the first team. He's actually played um, He's actually played 22 games for Real Madrid's first team before being loaned out. Um, but he did come through the, um, through the youth setup, through their, through their academy, and he's worked his way up. Now, they do rate him pretty highly by all accounts. But um, again, with some of these players, not just in um, foreign countries, but in England as well, a lot of these academies are money spinners to balance the books so you can then go and buy the big name. Um, that's probably the case in, in, in this instance as well. The fact that he is 23 years old, get him out on loan, get him to have a season out somewhere else. Sevilla might end up then going and buying him or... Failing that, it puts them in the transfer window for everyone else. And they've gone from having the kid for free to selling him on for £25 million. So, listen, I'd love to know uh, your thoughts on that and on him. So leave that in the comment section as well. I know a lot of you watch La Liga, you watch Sevilla. Um, hopefully, when I get back to Spain and football's back to normal, I'm going to be going to a few Sevilla games, maybe do some vlogs as well. So, um, so keep your eyes peeled for them. Uh, let's move on to the next guy that I want to speak about, and that is not Anthony Martial, despite the fact he does look very similar to Anthony Martial. Um, but this is Jonathan David, and uh, Jonathan David is the Ghent centre-forward um, who's under contract until 2023. Now, we've been linked to this guy quite a few times, uh, especially through January. Um, his goal-scoring record is absolutely decent, phenomenal. 18 goals in 27 games. But this is the good bit. He's chipped in with eight assists as well. Now, the majority of this guy's games, I say he's a centre forward, but the majority of the games he's played, and he's played 40 of them this season in all competitions for Ghent, the majority of them, 24, have come at attacking midfield, where he's bagged 11 goals and eight assists. As a centre forward, he's ruthless. Eight games, seven goals, one assist. Um, as a second striker, four in four with one assist. And he can play on the left wing as well. Now, he is only 20 years old. Um, he's breaking records for the Canada national team 
Um, unbelievable talent, this kid. And he is really, really good. A lot of clubs are looking at him. There's about seven or eight clubs interested in signing this guy. Now, um, Arsenal are going to need a striker because I am absolutely adamant that Aubameyang's off. I may end up being wrong. I hope I am wrong. But I do genuinely think Aubameyang is going to leave. Now, we've been linked to Eduard. We've been linked to uh, Dembele at Lyon. We've been linked to everyone. This kid is absolutely mustard. Um, and I think we should, if Aubameyang does go, maybe take a punt on him because I think if you look at him, he's very quick, he's very physical, he gets a lot of assists, he chips in with a lot of goals as well. For me, it's a no-brainer. Go and get it done. Go and sign him up, get him in. Um, Aubameyang, we don't know what's happening with that. I'd go and do this deal either way um, because we're going to have this whole scenario again uh, with Lacazette next because he's coming into the last two years of his contract. But um, if you are Canadian and you do know anything about this guy, let me know. If you do watch Belgian league football, let me know, because I don't. Um, all I've done is done a little bit of research on him. I know that he's a major talent, very, very quick, very physical, and absolutely quality on the ball. So leave it in the comments section. Let me know your thoughts on him. Um, let's move on to the main story I want to talk about, and that is Gabriel Magalhaes. Um, now, we've been linked to him about two weeks ago. Um, we've actually been linked to him before as well, last summer. We were linked to him. Now, he's also under contract until 2023, and he currently plays at Lille. Um, again, he's a very young player. He's only 22, which is very young for a centre-back. Um, Brazilian under 23 international. Um, he hasn't been capped yet, though, um, for, the, for the first team. But um, he is very good, this kid. He is very good. Now, Everton have failed with a £30 million bid for this guy. Um, he's played 34 games this season in total, with one of them at defensive midfield, the other 33 being as a centre-back. Um, now, listen, this guy has got every attribute you want in a centre-back. He's tall, he's quick, he's decent with both feet, he can walk out of defence with the ball, absolutely quality in the air. His defensive work, uh, defensive work off the ball in terms of his positioning and stuff like that is absolutely exceptional. Now, we've seen that Upper Mancano um, is more likely not going to happen. There's a lot of reports saying that he's going to sign a new contract with Leipzig. There's other reports saying that he's going to be signing for uh, Bayern Munich. For me, Arsenal and Chelsea are both in for this guy, Magalhaes. We've got to go and get this deal done. Stick him next to Saliba. And I think that's a partnership that could blossom over the next three or four seasons. That could turn into one of the best partnerships. You never know. Um, the fee is going to be around 35, 40 million quid. Now, I think, again, when you compare that to other players that we've signed in defensive positions, no names, <coughs> Mustafi, <coughs> Mustafi, I've got to get that cough sorted out, um, for 35 million, I think that this is perfect. Go and get him done. 40 million quid, ship Mustafi out the door get rid of Socrates, get rid of Mavropanos, get rid of David Luiz, put him in there, stick him next to Saliba, um, maybe buy Pablo Marie as well, keep either Chambers or Holding. I'd go with maybe Chambers and keep him instead of Holding. Then you've got four centre-backs at the club. They're decent, decent centre-backs, and you've instantly improved your defence. But I don't know, listen, 35, 40 million pound, I'd love to know your thoughts on that. Don't forget, I will be back at half 10 today. Um, with a Premier League transfer update. Leave all your comments down below. Go and check out the gaming channel. Um, subscribe to that. I'll be on that about half 12, one o'clock. Um, and leave all your thoughts in the comments. Stick a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. Share the content around. Um, and all have a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. Um, like I said, um, one more thing before I go. If you are on YouTube Premium, you can get a membership for this channel for free for one month if you're from Brazil, Japan, the UK, Ireland, or South Korea. So check out the membership. Press join. It says uh, join for free. So you can click on that. Join for free. I think it's level two you can get up to on this channel. It's $4.99. Um, you get a $4.99 redeem voucher or whatever, however they do it. Click on it. It'll let you join as a member for free if you're on YouTube Premium from them five countries. Um, listen, have a wonderful day. Laters, peeps.